We got in contact with Professor Jeremy Simpson for our PCR project. He kindly agreed to show us his PCR standard and real time machines and these photos we took with his permission. In the first photo, we were shown a standard PCR machine open to show the reaction wells where you replace your reaction mixture. The display at front allows you to set the temperature and time of each phase and the amount of cycles. We were shown the reaction wells. Into these wells go the PCR reaction mixture tubes, should be of even thickness and of smooth wall surface to ensure heat is transferred evenly. We learnt that the caution hot surface sign is there because the heated lid of the machine presses against the lid of the tubes to prevent condensation. Into the reaction mixture goes the template DNA, DNA primers, magnesium which is needed for the stability of DNA polymerase, deoxyribonucleotides which is an unlimited supply of nucleotides and TAC polymerase which is heat stable. Everything has to be at the right concentration, depending on what type of reaction and the volume of the shoots. Here is the phases of the thermal cycle. The time to 30 green arrow refers to the number of cycles. The machine is heated to 94 degrees to denature double stranded DNA, then cooled to 55 degrees to re anneal and allow primers to be set. It is then heated to 68 degrees and DNA polymerase where D DNA polymerase works best. In the fourth picture, Professor Simpson showed us the time PCR machine. The laptop quantifies the amount of copies of genetics of the specific genetic sequence being made in real time with graphs and data. In the fifth photo we can see the plot of the different reaction wells being amplified after cycles. A fluorescent primer is added to each mixture to allow us to track the copies. Each well is being represented on the right. Oscar, Alex and I were grateful for Professor Simpson's help and feel and felt we learned a lot. Seeing the machines firsthand helped us understand the PCR process and Professor Simpson was able to answer any of our questions.